Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Arweave update. It really has been amazing here with Arweave of late because as you can see, we've just been nailing it exactly as we anticipated. Remember, we're following this structure, but if you're also watching for the first time, really it doesn't matter because we are following this spike of accumulation pattern, which started like more than a year and a half ago. It's been in the formation and this is like a really powerful structure right here going forward with the next bull market with Arweave. So what we can see obviously are all the phases with the white copper accumulation pattern this is your preliminary support selling climax automatic rally some secondary test price here one in here another one in phase b a quick as spring which is usually the lowest point of the prices but then again this one was a little bit delayed it really doesn't matter really doesn't change anything because we're already back into the trading range by this so what we will now be expecting is continuation of the price right here obviously you can take a look at the RSI right here. It's looking like it's a little bit overbought. That's okay right here. The just most important thing is that we are back into the trading range. Because from here, what we are looking for is like a last point of support. Going even further, continuing to break this. I'm going to quote some price targets in a few minutes. But just bear with me right here because this is what the work of accumulation pattern usually looks like. You can see this click that I was talking about. And then your spring there, right? You get back there. The last points of support are even way higher off in the trading branch there, right? So we are looking to break that resistance eventually, continuing going further. Now, the big question obviously is how high are we going to go with this hour with price that I've gone on to show you that, you know what, on a bigger time frame perspective, we are looking at something that is really, really unimaginable. I don't know why I can make this a full screen, but here we go. We have got uh, some five waves. So the first cycle that we have here with our wave, you can see that we've got one, two, three, four, five right here. Those are your first five waves according to Elliott wave theory. Now what you'll be looking for is a corrective wave. Now this was the corrective wave right here. As complicated as it looks, I've gone on to show you that this is just an ABC correction right here with the price set. And that correction looks like it's done already. So according to Elliott wave theory again, what you will now be looking for is a new cycle. It has already begun and usually when these cycles begin, not many people are actually believers. Many people usually come in the third cycle. It's usually the most exciting one. But then again, I mean, if you want to make the most, if you want to make the most profits, you have to get involved like right from the beginning, right when things are looking so bad. I remember making uh, videos right here when we were at $3 something or you know even $4.50. It wasn't looking like it was really, really uh, great right here. So yeah, in the longer term from perspective, we are looking at this uh, new cycle to begin right here. Now, how high can we go with this? I've gone on to show you in another video, which I attempted at the exit plan on our weave, where we can even reach prices as high as $1,600. I still believe in those ones. I'm going to link the video into uh, the comment, you know, so that you can actually go ahead and watch the video, see how we came up with those price targets. But also, in the worst case scenario, I was looking at the structure that we have right here, which is also a bullish one, honestly. And uh, that's a falling wedge. Now, these falling wedges are very, very, I mean, tradable. They are really good because they've got a success rate of about 66% to go ahead and reach the price target. So now the price target is usually at the top of the wedge. And in this case, there's something like $41.42. It's a little bit late right now. I mean, from a, you know, return perspective, because uh, we were talking about these things when we were right down below, you know, four dollars forty. You know, that would actually have been like a ten x or something like that. You didn't need any leverage or sort. I right? just to get there, it was one easy ten x. I made videos on that. Unfortunately, people don't watch them. So, eh. would kindly ask you to help me spread this video by delicately tapping the like button. It really helps the YouTube out with them. People looking for our with updates will not be able to get those ones much more easily, right? And also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel just yet. I would encourage you to do so really because I do TA on our weave and a number of outwinds on a regular basis. And with that being said, let's quickly get back into the video. So yes, this falling wedge is looking at something like 4142. I'll show you another price tag that I'll quote, which is almost in line with this one right here. But what we can see here is the main resistance that we had right here on a 3 day time frame, completely broken. Completely, we had a closure above that resistance there. Even this candle that we have, well, it hasn't just decided where it's going to go, right? But uh, this is looking positive in my own opinion. We can have a back test of this. Maybe there will be another opportunity for an entry into this. Maybe when we back test this. But I don't see, you know, the price getting so low as it was back then for an, like big opportunity like that. But 
And then again, uh, there is another way we can try to find the worst case scenario using our favorite assessment tools right here from the very top to the very bottom right here. You can see some adjustment that was because, you know, usually, yeah, the price like the price that may actually be looking so sad and bad about these things they don't just last like forever flat like this they usually have a tendency to go back into retracement level so we are looking at the usual suspects right here and that's something like the 0.5 field retracement level and you can see that price again there that's 46 dollars thereabout and um i mean this is not small I mean, maybe right now, if you take a look at the multiples that you need to get back there, is not so enticing. But again, this is where I was saying that oh, we're talking about these things when we're even lower than that. And remember, this is just uh, like the worst case scenario, actually. The best case scenario, I've already pointed that we are looking at $1,600 for our weave. But um, here, you can also take a look at the 0.618 field adjustment level. That's something like $55 that about. So in the worst case scenario that we don't have another all time high, I'll be looking at these levels right there, right up until $70 maybe. That will be the last line in the sand. But other than that, I mean, I see this shot really, really positive with a wake up accumulation that has lasted more than a year and a half. I expect the price to do something like this cycle here, which can even go as high as uh, $1,600, as I mentioned. Uh, $366 is another price target that we quoted. So yeah, that's pretty much it from me today. But obviously, none of what I say is financial advice. But if you like the content, don't forget to delicately tap the like button, share the video with your friends and family. And then I would like to see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.